Hello, this is Ana Dominguez, and today I'm going to present you to one of the actors from the theater play that we are going to perform during this year. Hey, I'm Celia Martin del Pozo, I'm 14 years old, and I'm really excited to be part of this theater company. And uh, I'm also excited because we're going to be playing Little Women. Um, and it's a really good novel and a good film. We're going to do a version of it. And that's exactly. It. <laughs> yes, and today we wanted to read a scene that we love that is um, from the movie 1994. We are going to work with this script. And the idea is to read this scene, this very short scene. We are going to be playing all the characters that appear in this scene, and the scene is called Christmas Breakfast. So let's start with this. And by the way, if we get confused with something, forgive us, you know, it's a second <laughs> language and we are trying to learn and improve our English through theater. That's the objective. So you are welcome also to participate. By the way, on the 2nd of September, we will be celebrating the, the class. Uh, it's, 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 we will be talking about the program in the place that is, is called El, El Paseos. Paseos. It's called Paseos. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm renting um, a room there to do this activity every Friday from 5.30 till 7, since 7, right? Seven, yes, yeah. 5.30 till 7. So it's one hour and a half every Friday, um, following the schedule of the Comunidad de Madrid, okay? Um, so we, we are delighted to present this scene, and if you want to be part, check the characters, because she is going to play probably Amy, and Amy is the, the youngest uh, little woman. But we need more women, we need more men as well, because there are at least, at least six characters that are men and another six characters that are women. And I will be directing, helping with the script, and so I'm not going to be acting, on, that's not my idea. My idea is to help you with your uh, pronunciation, with the, with the evolution of the, of the script the adaptation and um, so please if you want to participate subscribe in my website go to contact and send me your details okay <laughs> please so let's start with the with the with the steam um meg um meg march says go to the rooms and fetch martin Hannah's put together an absolute Christmas miracle. Joe, is that a, is that a sausage? Evading Joe's fingers, Beth sails the platter onto the table. Thrilled, the sisters crowd around the table. Amy, oh butter, isn't butter divine? God, thank you for this breakfast. The front door opens. Marmy in snowy boots exhausted cries of marmy and merry christmas as beth embraces her miss march says oh yes it's christmas she kisses each daughter the girls chatter rises and beth starts thumping out a christmas song on their walk on the on their walk old piano. By the way, warped means bent, old, broken, you could say a little bit broken. Miss March, Hannah, I need my kit of remedies. Darlings, the hamels are in a bad way. I just stopped home to fetch some medicine and raid the pantry. And the pantry is the place where you keep food and dishes, okay? Beth stops playing. Marmy angrily grabs up their firefood. So Miss March says, if you could see this poor family, what sort of man would abandon those starving, starving children? And who did he think would care for them? He left them to die. That's what he did. Into the subdued, Silence and subdued means absolute silent, we could say, or very calm silent. Beth March says, 
my was send the hummels or bread. Oh, bread. Joe jumps up with the dairy, dairy crop. Dairy crop, by the way, is this place, uh, is something like this similar, okay? It's not exactly, but it would be something like this with the butter inside. So it's something made of clay, it's a pot jar. So much, Joe Mark says. Take the butter too. Butter is not good without bread to put it on. Amy, silently, adds the, sing the single orange. Meg looks at her sisters. Meg is the, the oldest, okay? Meg is the old oldest uh, sister. And in one movement, the girls start packing up their feast. And by the way, feast is como festin, ¿vale? Hearing their voices and laughter, Hannah comes in with the kit of homeopathic remedies and is amazed to see Joe glides past with a coffee pot, headed for the door, followed by Amy, Meg, and Marvin, with the porridge and sausages, Ben with the firewood. Firewood is everything that you need to light the fire. Laughing, the Marx girls plow through knee-deep snow, and plow is like como aran, pero es como abren un hueco, ¿no? Por el, por el, por la nieve que está hasta la, hasta la altura de las rodillas, para que os hagáis una idea. Joe kicks up her long skirts, raising powdery plumes of snow. Y by the way, powdery es como polvo y plumes es como eh, plumas, ¿vale? Of snow. Then Joe says, wonderful snow. Don't you wish we could roll about it in it like dogs? <laughs> On the steps of the Lawrence house, dress for church. Lori and Green, Green is como strict, no? Green. Old Mr. Lawrence stare, miran fijamente, stare, astonished, obviously. Joe plows by with a steaming coffee pot, followed by her sisters and Miss, and Miss March carrying platters of food and kindling. And kindling is the pack, everything that you need to light candles. Remember, this is Christmas breakfast. So Joe Mark says, lovely weather for a picnic. Obviously in a very ironic way, <laughs> which makes Beth and Amy giggle. Meg clutches Joe, mortified, clutches like <laughs> Cersei. Bueno, mortified in that way is not like ha ha ha. Beagle is ha ha ha. But clutches is like, clutches like, Oy. mortified means that she is very embarrassed, basically. She is the oldest and she, when there is some boy or man in front of her, she's a, she gets a little bit, you know, scared and, and kind of shy, you could say. Meg March says, Joe, you should let him speak first. Is he watching? <laughs> Don't look back. Oh dear, what will he think of us? And Miss March says, I'm sure by now our neighbors are convinced we are quite insane. With a cordial nod to old Miss, Miss, Mr. Lawrence, Miss March parades on, erect and proper, carrying the absurd platter of sausages. Mr. Lawrence sternly, sternly is como firme, no? Sternly, notch, notch es como da un codazo, ¿vale? Notch, lorry, toward their carriage. Acordaros que ellos iban a misa, carriage, in the carriage. And this is it. This is the end of this thing. Isn't it fantastic? <laughs> I think it's a beautiful thing. We are in, actually, we are right now in July, and this is a Christmas thing that is absolutely the axis of of the of July um, month, and we are hoping to perform this theater play adapted in our own version with the people that we um, uh, arranged together. Within one uh, one year and few months, we will be working in this project. So, if you want to improve your English, come with us and experience what it is to learn English through theater because it's about absolutely a, a, something that changed your life. Yeah. It will help you to improve your English. You will feel more confident and also you will meet people 
<laughs> because this is presencial. Yeah. It's not online as many other lessons. You did have lessons online with me. Yeah. And how were? Well, um, I learned so many things and um, I don't know, it was fantastic because you could work in, it was like really um, looking forward to improve your English and improve the way you can perform uh, a Cambridge exam. So, um, yes, that's true. She has, uh, as you can see and hear, <laughs> she has a very good level of needs for being 14 years old. And actually, actually, I help her and many other people in her school to pass the paid first and even advanced levels um, and coaching people um, online. But she has performed already pets and I'm, I'm sure she's going to pass on the page <laughs> with very good marks. Um, but, but the theater has something that can't any official exam can yeah. give us. And it's the experience of adapting something that you read together, we comment together, and at the end we do something more creative, we could say. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we have finished for today. And I'm very happy that she's today with me. <laughs> I'm really, really happy with her. So I'll see you, I'll see you soon. Contact me and we will see each other during these months. And you are invited to come on the 2nd of sep September. Okay, so I'm saying goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>